Oh, hi Barra, take off your pants. Now. What the hell? If someone ever asks you this question, run. Leave the country and never return. Unfortunately, I cannot do that. Because these two players started a faction called the No Pants People Party. And boy do they hate pants. They don't wear it, but they also kill anyone that does. But I think I will stay out of this war because... Hey Pangy, Parrot Ray showed you on Twitter. Wait, what? No! They have gone too far, so I'm gonna make their lives miserable. But how, you might ask? Well, I'm gonna make them wear pants, even if it's the last thing I'll do. But because Spoken Parrot refused to wear pants, it will be really hard to make them wear it. And the chances are really high that I'll fail. <laughs> you know, I might have started a war. And so, the next day, they were already trying to get revenge. We have to show you something really We got silly. a crazy thing. Crazy thing just happened. Now, if you ever join a VC to hear this, throw your PC in a trash bin and run. But because I made Spoke wear pants a few days earlier, I was pretty sure that this would end up being a trap. So I picked up my battle gear and decided to follow them. Alright, that's way, right. gentlemen. I'm so, Pinky, you, to you gotta go through the portal, Pinky. Go through the portal, Pinky. Pinky, you gotta portal. try it. You got it. Go, you gotta go through the portal. Hey, okay, go through, go through. Go, so go, we through, go, go through, go through. We don't have a lot of time. All right, go. Alright, oh. All right, here we go. Go, back! Go! Go, 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 go! Go! Oh! oh. There's nothing oh. on the other side. <laughs> so what's the thing you wanna... What's the Ryan Trahan thing you wanna show? Ryan Trahan room is an awesome room. Where are you? Little bro! Where'd you go? He's right here, look. Little bro! Yo, what's good? Oh, shit! <laughs> what? This is an infinity room. It's basically a room full of item frames holding white maps. When you're stuck in an infinity room, you literally can't see anything, and you have no clue where you are. Now this infinity room was 40 blocks deep, with dripstone on the bottom, but somehow I water clutched and managed to get out. <laughs> Welcome! Oh! What the f- Hey! No, hey. this is not a good idea! Where are you, bro? What's this? Smoke! Smoke! Smoke. 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 No. <laughs> now obviously, I just killed Spoke, but was I gonna leave him unpunished for trapping me? No. Of course not. So the next day, I went to the original location of where the map was made. And to my surprise, I found out that there was now a different use for the maps. Propaganda. They changed the map to convince other players to join their side. I can't let this happen. So I quickly changed the map, not expecting this to happen. Hi, Pangy. Hello. What you doing? Nothing. Uh, I'm looking at this map right now. Oh. It's tracking a player on it. I think that's terrain. I am in big trouble, is what I'm thinking right now. But what I'm also thinking about is what options I have. Either I convince Para that it was someone else, or confess that it's me. You changed the map. Yes. Yes, I confessed. I, I, I didn't know what to do, alright? Thank you. Where are you right now? Oh, oh. there you are. Hello, Barrett. You can kill me right now. I'm on four hearts. Mm -hmm. But no matter what you do, this thing right here, this structure, is in a lot of danger, Pangy. And I will tell you, when you log on to stream tomorrow, <laughs> don't be afraid if it's completely gone. Goodbye, Pangy. Parrot was right. I cannot do anything against him. Because killing him is like drop kicking a child. Parrot, if you really want to break my house, go ahead. But I sure will make you waste a lot of time by replacing every block with obsidian. I mean, yeah, it took me a long time to mine it. But now I was sure Parrot wasn't gonna destroy my house. And so I logged out, waiting for his next move. Alright. Ah, uh, we're entering mm -hmm. spawn. Okay, my yeah. house is still there as far as I can... Yeah. See. Parrot outplayed me. He made my other house fly. But worst comes to worst, the day after, he removed my actual house. Yes, I'm homeless now. In retaliation to that, I stole their flag and hid it in a chest deep underground. But that wasn't my main objective. Because since the start of this war, I have been fighting alone. So I figured that now was the time to get teammates. Do you want to join me to fight the No Pants People Party? Do you want to join my side to get Spoken Parrot to wear pants again? I want to finish this by making Spoke and Parrot both wear Curse of Binding pants. I love that idea, Pangy. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> yes! Alright, that's great, that's great, alright. And so now that I started a strong team, we definitely need a base that we don't have yet. Or do we? Because right after Parrot removed my house, I started rebuilding a secret base right underneath it. And now it was time to show it to the team. I think I can show it to you guys. I think, I think it's time. I think it's time. Wow. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, We're going no. down. Wow. Guys, men, fellow people of the shades, I That's want insane. to welcome you to my basement. Are we being kidnapped? How little of a life do you have? <laughs>
Angie, I, I am liking this. I had done it. I started an unbeatable team, I built an epic base, and now the only thing that was left to do was to make the No Pants People Party wear pants. But there was only one problem. In the time that I recruited two members, they recruited four. You might be wondering, hey, Pengi, how do you know that? Well, Roshan Bo and Epic asked to fight me. But when I logged on, the entire No Pants PP team was chilling right above my secret base. So I had to fight them because if I wouldn't, they would find my base. But what chance did we really have being outnumbered 6 by 3? Well, we weren't. Because right before the fight would start, two of my old allies backed me up to even the fight. Got Pengi? Yeah, I see. What Lucky <laughs> bear. Uh, I have the a the bear, the bear, the bear. Bro, they're destroying my farm! Me. They're all targeting Woogie, they're all targeting Woogie guys. Yeah, this is very right. uh, I'm, I'm with you, subs. Good bro, good bro. Nice! Nice, good job, nice. Good job, Vitalsi. It's one down. Only row and spoke. Only row and spoke. They're they're at my base. They're at the middle. They're at the middle. Where are they at? What? <laughs> Bro, we had won the battle. We prevented the enemy to find our base, and eventually they ran away. A little later, me and Rudin started building the final trap to make Parrot and Spoke wear pants. But the next day, I got a DM. Parrot told me not to log in until I went live, and that whatever was about to happen, I could not ask my teammates for help. I knew this had something to do with my base, but upon arrival, there was nothing out of the ordinary, so I went down to double check. So. happened to my base. Wow! Parrot and his entire team stole my base. Apparently, they found it right before the fight even started. And with them leaving one clue, I knew where to find my base. A fun time finding where we put it. The end. They rebuilt my entire house. In the end. I was too late with my plan, I guess. Here goes nothing, I guess? Hello, small p. Over the past couple of weeks, you've probably noticed that we have deconstructed and reconstructed many of your prized buildings. You see, Pangi, we can't use combat like you. We use our wits, our intelligence. As many times as you kill a player with four hearts and no pants, I just want to let you know that we will always have the last laugh. What? What? I'm dead. I'm dead. They took everything from me. What could I do against them? Assuming that I have nothing left to lose, how could I make them wear pants? I might just give up, because I don't think I have more options. I might just have one more chance. Do you remember that I stole the No Pants People Party's flag? Well, Parrot really wants it back, and I think I have the perfect solution to give it to them. But they really only will get it when they wear pants. You see, in the past week, I've been building a dungeon, where if they complete three impossible minigames, they will get their flag back. The thing is, if they fail in any of them, they will wear Curse of Binding pants. And if they don't accept the challenge, I will blow up their flag. So now I'm standing face to face with Parrot and Spoke about to enter the dungeon. Bro! Oh my oh. gosh, what are you doing? Oh Look my at that. gosh. Room one. Bro? Okay. This is room two. Oh room my two. gosh. What the break? Oh what my the gosh. Break? Bro! Okay, this, actually... this is impossible. I just, it's, oh my gosh, dude, the consequences. I think there's a chance, I don't think all of them are filled with pants. Wait, really? I'm really gonna take my chances, all right? At this point, I'm just waiting. Oh, there he goes. Oh, oh no! I immediately fell, bro! It worked. Spoke got pants now. Now I only need to get parrot, and I have my full revenge. Parrot, but you know what I can do? I may be wearing pants right now, but do not look down. Here, I can activate every single one, all right? So you're all telling right. me there's none of them in there? None of them. They're all gone now. We are, can do, you do this now. Oh my yes! gosh. They outsmarted me. And after they got both of the checkpoints, I knew I had to step in. Hello? Hello. That was an interesting take. I want you to do the last one on your own. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Wait, what is the last one? It's right over here. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. So, you gotta be real precise for this one. I'm gonna be honest, I, I, I'm telling you, I did it once. Just remember, if you pull that lever, yep. the last door will open. With that, your flag will return to you. Alright, good luck, Parrot. Now there's one thing that I haven't been honest about. I told Parrot and Spoke that every level was possible. Now, to be honest, I'm pretty sure the last level is impossible. And now that Parrot agreed that Spoke couldn't help him in this level, I just had to wait to see him wear pants. But when Parrot was about to go for his first jump, this happened. What the f Oh my gosh. Right. <laughs> that was not supposed to happen, Spoke. Well, Pangy, <clears throat> I just want to thank you for the amount of time. Well, Pangy. Para did it. He beat me, and I had lost. Now I did give him his flag back, because I realized that they deserved it more than I did. The amount of effort they went through to move my base, and still risking everything by entering the dungeon, it gave me joy to see them celebrating. And sometimes, it's okay to lose. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do, it supports me a lot, thank you.